Good early morning. Let's jump in here. We had a slightly up day for Coney and a slightly down day for Coin. So Coin closed here at 223.61, less than half of 1%, right? Down a point, really, not quite a full point. And we doubt a quarter percent gain in coin. That's what happens when you stay within your weeklies and you're not capped and you're earning all the weeklies. So that separates us. So there were three trades, which usually means that money flowed in, which was the case. So for coin, the underlying, we had a new synth, not a new synthetic, we had additional synthetic. So we did 365 contracts where we went and joined the existing May 17th. We bought 365 calls at $9.76 and we sold short uh, for 517 the 260 puts right buy the 260 calls sell the 260 puts out in 517 so now we collected money right when we're over the strike price sorry when we're under the strike price uh, we collect money so let's take a look at that So that looks like this. Well, actually, let's go to the synthetics, which are 260s. Here we go. So here's the 365, right? So we're only buying for 976 because we're under, right? We're at, in the 220s when they did this, 225 somewhere, the trading range. Again, we were slightly down less than a point, and we're still 14% below the strike price, but not really a problem because it's May 17th. But we went from 63, high 62, 63, down to 65 in our loss. But on the money that we're collecting, we added to our synthetic, right? This is sort of the liability if we close this out by being underneath. Once this put comes up or once the coin trading price gets to 260, this 84 million goes away, right? So if all we did was go to 260, 18 would go away, but so would 84. So we would come out ahead, right? We would have a 19 million gain on our synthetic if we just closed it 260 even. We'd have all the put premium and none of the call premium. We'd need to be above 260 to get call premium. Okay, so let's go to April and see how that manifested itself in writing the naked call. So we wrote the same amount and we wrote those out on 5-3 with one trading day they didn't want to go. And, and that's understandable. So instead of doing the 255 like they did before when they wrote 310 the day before, uh, yesterday on 425, they got six dollars um, and they only went to the 252.50, right? So we're adding a little bit of money, right? So that took us from 22 million to 22.2. So we pocketed another 219,000 on our short call income. And remember, we really need this in MISTI. So we get, and we get paid ahead of time, right, for these guys. Just like we really want to capture all of this. So I got some interesting, sorry, I want to, uh, I'll show you on this one. And then in MISTI, I got some interesting, uh, payout prediction that I think you guys will like. So anyway, we'll keep going with Coin and Coney. So that lays that out. Not a lot. They did add 50,000 shares and that netted, was it 50,000 on this? It was 50,000 on Coney. Let me take a look here. 100,000. So 100,000 shares 
here. So that netted a couple million cash flow in, hence them writing, right? Not a big move percentage wise. Uh, for those of you that follow Ybit, I did that video earlier. They had an 80% additional inflow, which was 100,000, right? So they went from 125,000 shareholders. Again, the fund was three days old. And on that third day, they added 100,000 new people buying it, so it went to 225. But that was an 80% daily increase. You don't see that often unless you get a young fund, right? So now they have 225,000. Coney has 17,225,000. So a more mature fund. All right, let's look at the April. So this is where the cash came from, right? A little bit of cash was generated by writing that call um, and writing the synthetics, but most of it was the uh, people buying into the fund. All right, let's take a look. We looked at the synthetic. Make sure there's not anything I wanted to tell you there. Again, this moved down a couple. Nothing to be worried about with the time frame we have. We've also got Coinbase's earnings, I think it's after the market closes, it could be before, but I think it's after on 5-2, right, um, which is Thursday. So that should be a good, interesting, and, and I kind of hear through the grapevine that they're going to have a good, good quarter, uh, that a lot of those ETFs have brought a lot of people buying, thus... There's a lot of trading going on with existing buyers in, in, in Bitcoin and other cryptos. And that's really what Coinbase is. It's a, you know, I kind of relate it to the general store and the gold rush selling picks and, and shovels and, you know, laundry shops. So these are the guys where you go to get your wallet and do your transactions in Bitcoin and other cryptos. Okay, especially after Genesis and FTX and all that stuff crashing, it's the market and the regulators love uh, Coinbase. All right, so let's look at what our weeklies look like. So on our weeklies, I color coded these again for you. So we've got three now. We are getting close, right? We're at 223. We don't want to go above 232.50. If we hit 232.50, that's not a problem, right? And what we have at stake is 7.2 million. I've said this for two or three days, right? If we win the weeklies, we've already been paid. It's actually 7.3 when you look at the other small, right? These guys are the ones that constitute most of it. But with this 300, it's another 100,000. And that's way out there at 255. But you know, we're not that far. I mean, that's nine points, right? Uh, that's almost 5%. Actually, it's f almost 4%. So it's dangerous, but it's not the end of the world. But it would be really nice because this week and what we do on Friday with writing next week that's our last chance to get our um, income up before it's payday, right? I'll, I'll explain that when we get over to the um, payments tab because I just realized something on that. Um, implied volatility was down a little bit. Coney was up six cents and this guy was down, you know, 50, 60 cents. So interesting, but positive. I didn't update the chart, but you can tell it didn't move far. You see 225, so it's just a hair below there. The volume, I always check that. It wasn't anything to do, otherwise I'd replace the chart if we had some kind of breakout. Okay, so that takes care of us there. Trying to move these things through quicker, especially for you guys that are familiar with everything. So let's look at our holdings. Again, this is now 65. I've run out of room to change these, but I'll do that. So we're falling back slightly on these down days, on our liability, on our synthetic, but since it's 517, it's not a big deal. 
uh, we closed at 24.29, fair value was 24.31, so think of it as a two cent discount. We had 100,000 shares added, okay, uh, and this was another 5.3, maybe it wasn't, let me check that, I thought, do we, have, yeah, we have two, so the 3.65, I may not have added, yeah, I did, okay, that should be 5.3. All right, not a problem on there. So you can see the main one that we have at risk is the 232 it, because it's 7,000. And then if we ran up to 238 or 239, we're gonna lose substantially like the 7 million we've got. Now the synthetics would be doing really good, right? They'd ha they, that would knock off money, but we don't get paid on that. So. Just telling you what to wish for, day by day and, and weekly. All right, so on the holdings, don't see anything else to tell you here. You know how to read this by now. We're doing really good, look at this one, right? Um, oh, I should add the 365 to this list. But that's all right, it's a 5-3 one, but I still need to add it. Okay, so let's just go straight into payments. This is the stuff you guys care about. Okay, so we're setting it at $1.29. Now listen, that's counting that $7 million, right? So you don't want to get in a situation where we blow by and lose that. Because right now we got $1.29. I think they would give us some more revenue here. They would give us a little bit out of this bucket and probably pay us, you know, like $1.65. But guess what? We do. We roll on Fridays, right? Let me go back and show you. So we got all of these weeklies. So it, whether we capture them or not, we have to buy them back, right, on Friday. And if they run past it, then they're going to write new ones. Even if they don't and we secure the 7.2 million, they're going to write this big volume for next week. So when you think about that, we could get 7.2 million added tomorrow that we get paid on and then we have to have an outcome, right? So that money could and would count in our payments. So right now, this looks like this. I could say plus, right, and use a negative number, 7,200,000. And that would jump that to 29. So we would have seven, 171, right? And then giving us a little bit of this, maybe 50 cents. So this could really go to 171 uh, and maybe to say 50 more cents, so 221. This looks like the payout range. Now, the big if there is that we don't lose the existing 7.3 here. We're gonna write new calls and it's gonna show up when we sell them in this bucket. Right, so just FYI, that that could kick us if we keep that seven three that we've got and don't go past two thirty two fifty, then we're gonna write new ones and we could get another two dollar payout. Otherwise, we're back to buck sixty five, could even be lower, a buck forty or something, right? But probably would be a buck fifty at minimum. All right, I know you guys care about that. All right, let's go to Misty. So here's the Misty situation, down 2%, okay, 1240 for Mr., right? Down 25 points, 2%. We were only down 1.3 fourths, right? Or three fourths, 1.34. So again, the weeklies are helping us out. We're not as close and misty on the weeklies, guys. And again, I color coded them. This is what's at stake. 
So altogether, this only adds up, part, a portion of these have already been bought back. There were nine sold and we've already bought back five of these. But the rest of it, it's about 2.2 million, okay? And you'll see that when we get to the payment tab. So today, oh, let me show you what they did. So here's the three trades, right? They added a synthetic, buy the call, sell the put on our May 17, 1150s, only 11 contracts. And then we sold a 1380. One, Such a big number with MicroStrategy. All right, so I'll show you how. So that's this, right? So we sold this for 37, we didn't bring a lot of money in. Okay, 41,000, right? Because of 11 contracts. But that kicked us up a little bit, 6,962, right? That's where we're setting. But I went ahead at the end and I figured another two, since we got about 2.3 million um, this month, right? I figure we're gonna have another 2.3, 2.4, and I show a what if, because we're gonna win these weeklies here with one trading day. And I'll show you that in the payment. All right, so let's go. And I don't think you care a lot over here. They added some shares. I think they added, yeah, they added 50,000. Uh, they went from 3 million to 3,050, or 3 million 50. Okay, let's look. We looked at our synthetic. We talked about that. Now, that did up here drop right when we sell the synthetic over here it cost us 120,000 right so our our loss on on taken is taken now and what that does is that drug us down from 8.8 .8 million yesterday to only a 7 million gain if we were to close our synthetics but think of how bad we took that 28 million dollar loss plus this 4.7 so if we go over to payments, we're at 32 here. This is at 69. Um, and so right now we're showing 228. But the problem is we have this, you know, huge loss here. Right? So that's like a $10 a share loss. And that with the 228 gain, it brings us down to a loss of 845. So researching those scenarios, I find that they probably are willing to pay us two thirds, 6.67 of the 228. Well, what I did, let me show you on the weeklies and I'll come back to this. So out here on the weekly, we, here's our scenario. So we have three well out of the money, right? We're at 1240, we can go all the way up to 1395 and still collect our 2.2 million, right? Looks super good for capturing it all, expiring in one day. So these are pretty much a given. And then what are they gonna do when, they, when these, they buy back for a couple of pennies, right? Toward the end of the day, they're gonna go sell next week's and then we're gonna capture 2.3 million roughly, right? So the beauty of that gets translated into our payment. So I went ahead and calculated that to be 2.3 million. I divided by the current share count and that adds 75 cents. So that would take us to 304 after the Friday close. Okay. We would see it in the, in the new numbers after the close. And now when I take 67% of the 304, I get 203 and I give it a 10 cent range there. So my new prediction, assuming we don't run by, which is not very difficult in Misty for tomorrow, and then we write new ones, which is a given, and that's roughly what we're gonna get around 2.3 million, okay? So this is starting to look better, guys. You know, um, $2 would be a fantastic after having this 28 million. Now again, on paper right now, we do have a $7 million gain in synthetics and they may consider that, right? 
they're not going to do anything with it because we, we've got a 32 million loss. That would mean that we still have a 25 million loss even. And they're not about to do anything with it because we're way off. Okay, guys, I don't want to keep you. Again, this is uh, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Thought you would enjoy this new additional look at your payday potential, and I keep updating that all the time. Okay, everybody, have a good one. Bye.